Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Conqueror's Blade. Today, we're gonna dive right into Season 12. Now, Season 12 started about a couple of days ago, and the initial couple of week, within, or two weeks, within Conqueror's Blade, you are not allowed to bring in Tier 4s or Tier 5 troops. This means for new players, it is actually the best time for you guys to join into the game. So if you're watching this and you have not tried the game out yet, and you're interested in playing Vikings type of teams, this is the game for you, this is the way for you to go. And honestly, I've been having quite a bit of fun this season, and just in any uh, season in general. The only thing that I mentioned in my previous video that might be kind of con to the game is the, how repetitive it might get. Whereas you keep going up with that within the actual game, you keep leveling up your troops, you start getting more and more passionate about the game. Start realizing certain things that you actually acquire, like fighting skills, um, strategy based on how you place your troops, and things like that, which you actually be able to see throughout this gameplay here, compared to my previous video uh, where I actually just haven't played months before that. So that tells you right there that by just consistency in any game in general, you'll be able to change your mind mindset change the consistency you have and really just focus on um, getting the best strategy for your troops based on their performance and based on what sort of skill level they have um, one of the biggest things that I realized throughout this gameplay was that it doesn't matter how many kills you get it doesn't matter how many troops you kill it really comes down to just conquering the actual spot or the flag in a sense it's, it's this conquest so for me kind of the negative aspect was that I have or will have a very high kill game but unfortunately I'm not on the top of the board but that is something that you learn over a period of time that you have to place your troops in a certain area because this is a strategy game it's an MMO but at the end of the day it's very strategic as to where you place your troops how much damage your troops cause and whether or not they actually are of any sort of value towards conquering a specific spot um, so in this case we may or may not win this game at the end of the day, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but I do want to say that this is a game that is very strategic and it reminds me a lot of uh, League of Legends to a certain extent, with the only difference is that you actually control the troops, um, and at the end of the day you actually have some fighting technique that you have to use on a third person point of view instead of from the high in the sky. So let me know in the comment section if this is a game that you guys enjoy playing. If you're a veteran and already been playing this game for a while, let me know what tier 5 wood units would you recommend for me to get next because I am almost in my first tier 5 units. Um, so, you know, hit me up, let me know in the comment section if there's anything you guys would like to, uh, to see. I will be doing a tutorial down the road on how to acquire more silver, how to actually go out in the world, the open world and do some conquests and down the road I will actually join a team and eventually do some territorial war. For now I just want to focus on siege and becoming the best siege player I can possibly be and focusing on you know making as much silver so I can upgrade my uh, tier 5 and armor and things like that. Alright guys if you saw the video until this part don't forget to hit the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe icon if I brought value to you guys Stay tuned for the rest of the video, it's actually a pretty good fight, and without further ado, enjoy the rest of the video, I'll see you guys in the next one, have a good day.
Jackson! Unix, assemble!